I told you the story about hiring Tony Meredith for me 28 years ago. Well, we try to have a good time in this business, and every so often we go on a little what we call perk trip. Five years we went to Hillsboro. <laughs> Ten years, Charlotte, all of these different places. Fifteen years, we took our husbands, went to Las Vegas. So 20 years rolled around. I said, Tony, where do you want to go for your perk trip? She didn't bat an eye. She said, Hawaii. <laughs> I want to see the crystal blue water. Elvis has been singing about it since I was junior high school. <laughs> you came back and told me it was blue. I just want to get up and see it myself. So we organized what we referred to as Tony's Great Hawaiian Perk Trip to see the crystal blue water. This was something else. We cashed in every mile we could. We got free, free tickets. We got free hotel rooms. We did all of this. All I asked Left Brain to do <laughs> was get two rooms near the Honolulu Airport for the night we arrived. We were going to get in at 10.30 and we couldn't go the next morning to Maui for the speech. Tony said, I won't be able to see any crystal blue water. I said, you, you take free tickets when you get free tickets, Tony. <laughs> Two rooms <laughs> near the airport. We were landing in Honolulu, and I just leaned over and said, you get those two rooms near the airport, honey. And he answered me in some sort of left brain code. <laughs> he said, I have us somewhere to stay. <laughs> no, no. The answer to did you get those two rooms near the airport is either yes I did or no I didn't. It never is and it never will be. I have us somewhere to stay. <laughs> Minutes after we got off that airplane, Tony and her husband Tom sitting right up here, I have witnesses. And Jerry and I were standing in the underbelly of the Honolulu Airport, checking into the Honolulu Airport mini suites, nap and shower. <laughs> eight, eight hours for $30. We are, we're just, we're just so struck by this. The three of us can't speak. Let me make sure you understand what this is. Have any of you ever, just for the heck of it, stretched out in a casket? <laughs> or, you know, when you, when you watch CSI and they go into the morgue, and somebody always goes and pulls out a drawer. Whoa. This is like that drawer. I had an MRI last year, and the nurse is saying, now, Ms. Robertson, this could be scary. I said, uh-uh. <laughs> I have been there, I have done that. This is not gonna bother me at all. They put Jerry in his, what I call a tube. We were in tubes. He was asleep in 20 seconds, happy. Not only saving money from those hotel rooms, but those big shuttle tips back and forth between the airport and the, and the hotel. Tom Meredith, sitting right here, who has claustrophobia, is a tube away, wild-eyed, eight hours. What time is it? What time is it? Our bodies thought it was 3.30, but we, he couldn't go. To, his feet were sticking out into the aisle. This woman is taking Tony and myself on up. Tony's saying things like, don't think I'm not telling this when we get back. Don't think, you know, I'm not a pickle in a jar. I don't know what you think you're putting me. And I'll tell you one thing, how am I going to see that these things don't have windows? I won't see any crystal blue water. Just get in the thing, Tony, and go to sleep. She got in this one and I got in this one. And you had to crawl on your knees. This is not when we were teenagers. We got on our knees because we could see the pillow up here. Have you ever tried to change clothes in a sleeping bag? Well, I guess y'all have right here. The Finally, I got myself turned around and you don't know where to put your hands. You can feel this wall and you can feel this wall over here and touch the ceiling and you think, well, maybe I put here and all I thought, oh, visitation. Oh. 
But I was just about to go to sleep and I heard at my feet I thought, oh, the lady must be back. Maybe she's going to save us, take us somewhere else. I crawled back <laughs> on my knees and opened my little, like a little boat window, opened it up and looked all around. And there's Tony. She's got hers opened up and she looks like a wiener sticking out of a bun. <laughs> I said, what is it? She's so positive. She's so, she said, Jeannie, we can communicate tonight if we want to. <laughs> well, how are we going to do that? She said, if you want, just spell it out. A is one. <laughs> Two, that's a B. Three, that's a C. I said, Tony, by the time we tap out, what time do you want to get up in the morning? It will be morning. <laughs> And I slammed my door and went away. I realize now I didn't hear her slam for a few long seconds, and I, I might have irritated her just a little bit, but I, I came back. And, then I, and by now my sheets are out of my tube, and I wanted to ball them up and throw them on the floor, but there wasn't a floor. <laughs> and have you ever tried to make up your own bed when you were all on top of it? <laughs> jump, you would jump, jump, pull a sheet. Jump, pull a sheet. Jump, pull the sheet. I was finally trying to get around, and I came back and was just sitting here thinking, all right, we got seven hours and 47 minutes. All right, light off, I'm gonna go. And I heard from my right, from Tony's side. And I knew she wanted me at that door. I crawl back, get back down here, and I'm gonna open it up, but as I said, She's positive. She has a sense of humor, and she keeps a sense of humor. The people here who know her know that. She was smiling. She said, good news and more good news. I said, what is the good news? She said, the good news is if you push the wall behind your pillow, it'll collapse. And if you can pull yourself through I found the Ann Shower part of the Honolulu Airport. <laughs> Mini sweet nap and shower. <laughs> I said, okay, uh, thank you. But she said, there's a little toilet, there's a little sink, everything. You just have to go through that hole. <laughs> and I said, what is the more good news? <laughs> She had her hand on the door. She said, the more good news is, I have at last seen, when I looked down in that toilet, the crystal blue water. <laughs> <laughs>